Creepy. You can have mine, Bongo. McDonald's Happy Meal toys have been part of almost every kid's life. There are, however, some less than exciting toys that have come out over the years, and today we're going to look at the 10 creepiest McDonald's Happy Meal toys. We are all toys. Rasputin. You want a Happy Meal? We'll get you one of those Happy Meals. Going to McDonald's and getting a Happy Meal is one of the most thrilling things as a kid. Not much can beat getting a shiny new toy to play with in addition to some delicious french fries and a cheeseburger. Not all Happy Meal toys, however, are created equal. As a kid, nothing was more depressing than opening up your Happy Meal to discover some weird toy you'd never want to play with. Or worse, a toy that will cause you harm. That was the case with this next movie-themed toy. The black Blockbuster animated film Anastasia swept the country in 1997. But I am your confidant. Happy Meal Toys at the time marketed the film by giving children scary toys that rembled Rasputin, the film's haunting villain. The toy's unique feature was that by pressing a little button on his back, you could take off the toy's head as well as other assorted body parts. That's more than just a little creepy, isn't it? Many parents were dismayed to see their children playing with this strange toy, believing it to be too horrific for children. Rasputin's true narrative is an extremely dark and distressing one, making it one of history's most unsettling stories. Not necessarily a kid-friendly motif for a McD's Happy Meal toy. Sky Dancers She looks like a dancing star! Kids in the 1990s were obsessed with these terrifying, wide-eyed, laughing fairies who were hurled into the air by their pointed, fast-moving wings. While the toys appeared to be quite harmless on the surface, they were actually rather hazardous. Anyone who's ever played with the toy understands what it's like to be hit in the face by one of these rogue flying fairies. These toys are not only dangerous, but they also have an odd quality about them. Each Sky Dancer seems more terrifying than the next, with their huge blue eyes eyes and sinister smiles. I thought she was so pretty. We're not exactly sure what the allure was to these toys other than launching them into the air just to have to pick them up off the ground again. However, they were somewhat useful in keeping your kids distracted for a while and burning off some of that excess energy at the same time. An inappropriate shaped jellyfish. Oh, I accidentally ordered some adult toys. Toys designed like private parts may be entertaining and funny for adults, but when it comes to children, though, this is not the case. Parents were taken aback when they saw this phallic shaped jellyfish in their children's Finding Nemo Happy Meals. It's clear that this device resembles a particular body part rather than a pleasant under the sea themed toy. It's not for kids. Many parents openly expressed their displeasure with the oddly shaped toy, stating that they they did not want their children to play with such an obviously explicit looking object. Was it really that hard to design a jellyfish toy that looked like a normal jellyfish? Whoever was in charge of giving this toy the green light may have been completely oblivious, but maybe Mickey D's needs a better quality assurance department so nothing like this happens again. Happy Meal Buckets You can get a different one each week until Halloween! Let's face it, the toy really is the best part of the McDonald's Happy Meal, so imagine the kids' chagrin when they got a bucket instead. McDonald's once served their Happy Meals in these vibrant Halloween-themed pails shaped like ghosts, pumpkins, and witches, rather than the conventional Happy Meal box. That's it? A Happy Meal? They first appeared for the 1986 Halloween season, but continued up until 2016, returning each frightening season. Although it seemed to be a good concept, children still expected to find a toy to be included in the bucket, which was not the case. Although the bucket was meant to be the toy, several people protested that it was too tiny for trick-or-treating. The buckets evolved and changed over time, but they never managed to overcome one key obstacle. A bucket is not a toy. Some buckets on the other hand, attempted to liven things up. The ghost in the 1990 edition and the cookie cutter lids in the 1992 editions both glowed in the dark. They were a little creepy and fun for kids to use, but at the end of the day, children don't want to play with a spooky ghost bucket. Although maybe the bucket could be used to keep all your other Happy Meal toys in. Gold Painted Little Mermaid Toys Can you do that? 
McDonald's has had a lot of success collaborating with Disney on Happy Meal toys over the years, but the gold-plated Little Mermaid dolls were an unmistakable disaster. McDonald's Happy Meal figures are often of good quality, with finely painted details and often have moving parts. These toys, on the other hand, were all painted in an unattractive imitation gold, were disproportionately big, and lacked the charm that made The Little Mermaid such a smash sensation. These toys, which were released in 1997, were clearly intended to be collected rather than played with. They were sprayed with an unidentified golden paint that covered Ariel's delicate facial features and gave Scuttle the appearance of a bird caught in a bad oil spill. That very boring. Even more perplexing, Ursula was the only figure who was an inflated doll rather than a genuine statue. She would be the only one who wasn't covered in paint. All of this contrasts sharply with the 1989 version of Happy Meal toys from The Little Mermaid. These were painted in vibrant, lifelike colors and were designed to be used in the water, making them a popular toy for the bathtub. The gilded figures, on the other hand, were too dismal to play with and were honestly quite creepy to look at. Halloween McNugget Buddies Now there are 10 McNugget Buddy toys you can collect. Halloween is a favorite holiday for many kids, for obvious reasons. They get to dress up as their favorite characters, get free candy, and just have a blast roaming the streets at night with their friends. McDonald's usually tries to include some form of Happy Meal item that is related to Halloween when the notorious holiday is just around the corner. But on more than one occasion, they have really missed the mark. At least these items are actually toys, unlike some of the other products we've seen. The McNugget Buddies are collectible figures with well-painted faces and interchangeable clothing. Although they weren't exactly the most exciting to play with, they were more like something to show off one's love of Chicken McNuggets. The faces that each toy had were also straight out of a nightmare. The first incarnation of the McNugget Buddies were released in 1988, with a follow-up appearance four years later. These humanoid Chicken McNugget toys had varied faces and clothing. The costumes could be switched out, giving the McNugget Buddies a Mr. Potato Head look and feel. The complete McNugget Buddy collection. They were weird and plainly intended to promote a food product, but they were just clever and funny enough to become a reasonable popular toy in its day. However, in 2019, McDonald's re-released the vintage toy to commemorate the Happy Meal's 40th anniversary. While the iconic McNugget Buddies had established themselves with children in the 80s and 90s, many children were unclear what to do with the Halloween McNugget Buddies when they made their comeback with a new generation of kids. After a multiple decade delay, they were clearly targeting a previous generation of toy lovers. While figurines like McNuggula and McBoo McNugget were entertaining to unpack and interchange clothes with, without the nostalgia of the original McNuggets buddies, this item was quickly forgotten at the bottom of the toy box. Ronald McDonald Sunglasses He's a magic sunglass, okay? If you're afraid, you put them on, they make you invisible. As any fashionista knows, the perfect pair of sunglasses can either make or break an outfit. Dating back centuries, the Inuit once wore crude sunglasses made of walrus ivory with holes in them, which was useful for reducing snow blindness, but not particularly appealing. Sunglasses, as we know them today, were invented in the 20th century. In 1929, Sam Foster sold the first pairs of mass-produced sunglasses, which immediately became a fashionable item on the Atlantic City beachfront. Leave it to McDonald's to capitalize on something that has been around as long as sunglasses. While this may seem like a good toy to include for any kid who wanted to look cool in their own pair of shades, unfortunately, the sunglasses' design would fall flat on almost every front. Ronald McDonald? Was he a real guy? These are not only unsightly, but also quite scary looking. You couldn't play with these without poking yourself in the eye, and whatever fashion statement you made was humiliating. The worst part was the simple carelessness of putting a McDonald's mascot on a basic accessory item, with children 
children expected to serve as walking, talking advertising for the corporation. During the 1980s and 1990s, when McDonald Land characters were the epicenter of Happy Meal promotion, this happened several times. Although mascots like Grimace and the Fry Guys weren't bad in and of themselves, these kinds of toys were not the most popular over the course of the Happy Meals history. There were some fun McDonald's character toys, however, such as the race vehicles. But this pair of Ronald McDonald sunglasses was not one of them. Tickle Feather Sponge Tickle, tickle, tickle. The toy aspect of the Happy Meal was still in the early phase when McDonald's debuted the Happy Meal in 1979. A few stencils, a spinning top, a badly manufactured eraser shaped like Ronald McDonald, and a weirdly inappropriate sponge toy dubbed the Tickle Feather Sponge were what qualified as toys at the time. While it didn't have the renowned Mick in front of the name, maybe the feather should have been dubbed the Mick Tickle instead. Good point. The Tickle Feather Sponge was a piece of foam whose sole purpose seemed to be to tickle your buddies at random. Not the most exciting toy, but still probably better than an eraser. This wasn't the only time a tickling feather appeared in a fast food meal. Burger King in Israel introduced adult meals with toys, including a seductive feather in early 2017 to get ready for Valentine's Day. At the very least, BK was forthright about what people would actually use it for. Madame Alexander Dolls And it's a McDonald's toy. For real. Madame Alexander is perhaps one of the most well-known doll makers. Since 1923, when Madame Beatrice Alexander and husband Philip Berman founded the Madame Alexander Doll Company, it has been manufacturing beloved dolls for children. They started making hard plastic dolls in 1948, and Madame Alexander even won the Fashion Academy Gold Medal four years in a row for costumes she designed for her dolls. Madame Alexander put you in there? It's no surprise that the dolls she created in the 1950s are among the most sought-after dolls in the world. World. McDonald's has occasionally included Madame Alexander dolls in their Happy Meals over the years. Adult collectors lust after these frightening little dead-eyed urchins. But Happy Meals are for kids. Do children really desire a doll that resembles something from their great-grandmother's curio cabinet? Every doll is frightening in its own way, but one doll from a 2010 campaign is pure nightmare fuel, especially when viewed in its plastic wrapper. This tiny Tyke is apparently Wendy dressed as the big bad wolf, but it seems more like a small girl attempting a Frank the Rabbit costume from Donnie Darko, only worse. You wouldn't be surprised if this doll escaped from the toy box and appeared on your pillow in the middle of the night, watching you sleep while brandishing a little knife and grinning evilly. Ronald McDonald Face Mask Ronald McDonald is now delivering smiles online. There aren't many internationally recognized mascots, but Ronald McDonald is definitely one of them, having served as the McDonald's mascot since 1963. It should come as no surprise that Ronald McDonald has appeared in other McDonald's Happy Meal offerings. But some of them, such as the face mask, are scary and sloppy. The mask has the potential to cause nightmares in young children, and as bad as that is, the worst aspect about this toy is that it is constructed of cheap cardboard. It's hard to imagine seeing a group of little kids running around with cheap cardboard clown masks and not being a little frightened. Sure, this toy isn't inherently hazardous. However, on the spooky scale, it's definitely a level 10. That used to be fun. <laughs> Almost every child who received this Ronald McDonald mask in their Happy Meal were either terrified or disappointed. There's something about clowns, even fast food clowns, that some people simply find terrifying and not at all entertaining. This mask did not go down well with the kids, not only because of its spooky nature, but also because by the time they put it on their faces, it was full of grease from the fast food meal it had been sitting with. This was one of the numerous underwhelming toys included in Happy Meals throughout the years. Imagine the reaction of the parents who then had to deal with their children running around the house wearing what amounts to a scary clown mask that smelled like french fries. So if it wasn't the kids, then it was the parents who were less than happy about this creepy Happy Meal toy. Thanks for sticking right to the end. We've got more awesome videos just for you, so stay right here and take your pick.